has passed since the third energy incident. Dr. Kirk's research on third energy has been taken over by a government agency, and massive research has begun at a base somewhere in the Midwest. However, in their pursuit of immediate results, they have failed to take the necessary precautions, and once again, an accident has occurred. This time, the entire research base, military institution, and a small town close by have disappeared. In their place, there now lies a jungle from another time. May 10th, 2010. I'm about to step through a gate into another time. Or maybe it's another world. I'm being sent in with other members of TRAD. Our mission? To rescue 1,300 survivors and collect data on the Third Energy Project. Hey Sarge, where do you want this? We were going to have a problem with the transmission on this GPS. There's something wrong. Hey. So, this is the Cretaceous way of welcoming guests, huh? Not exactly the red carpet treatment. Hmm. There's no response. I'm... I'm pretty sure my team's all right. There's more than a thousand survivors. Let's get moving. Now, hold on. What was your name again? Hey! is wrapped around the door. It won't open. Let's try the door over there. Oh, come on. Didn't they teach you how to open a door at sort training? Here, I'll show you. Watch this. Uh, yeah. That weapon definitely suits a trat member, but I prefer to go in this way. See ya, Mr. Barbarian. Hey, the name's Dylan. Call me that when you need some help, okay? Hello everyone, and um, welcome to the Dying Crisis 2 Let's Play thread. My name is Brass Monkey. I'm gonna play through this game on hard, uh, because easy is... Well, it's not called easy, it's called normal, but uh, it's considerably 
easier than most games. I want a bit of challenge. And so I'm gonna play through them hard. And it is hard. It's not only due to the somewhat old controls. They're uh, greatly improved from the first game. Uh, I'll explain a bit later. This guy we're playing as at the moment is named Dylan. He specializes in strong short range weapons. He'll start out with, let's see what I got, a shotgun. It deals rather low damage, but it has a good spread and a good stopping power. And it holds, uh, currently got a hundred bullets for it, or shells. And as a sub weapon, we got the Mishidi. It'll be insane if we try to use this in combat, but it's um, good for cutting off IV from doors. Which means there are some doors that only Dylan can go through. Like this one. And some doors that only Regina can go through. Because we've got two playable characters in this game. Which we will be switching back and forth between. And we have our first friend. A lot faster than in the first game. And he got some more friends with him. This game is a lot more action oriented than the first one. So we'll be killing a lot of dinos. Um, raptors are usually suffer from the same problems as in the first game. Now they're a bit slow in turning. Uh, but since almost all the weapons in the second game have some sort of stopping power uh, in various degrees, the best way to deal with them is to turn around and shoot them before they can try to run at you. Another problem with raptors is when they come at you from different sides. But the controls are improved quite a lot. You can run while shooting with almost all uh, sort of one-handed or some two-handed weapons. Shotgun uh, is decent at that, it has some sort of slight pauses if you want to start running and shooting at the same time. And anytime you kill dinosaurs, you get points. And if you manage to get through a room, killing um, most enemies uh, without taking hits, you get a lot of bonus points. I'll do my best to um, manage that, but in hard mode, it can be a bit hard. Because the enemies take a lot more hits, and if you need to kill them and avoid taking damage, it might mess up from time to time. The raptors aren't too tricky, except for some uh, times where they jump at you from the uh, surrounding forest. Uh, these points you can use them as much, basically. Uh, and you'll notice that I'm using a lot of ammo. I don't really think about conserving them. That's because you can buy ammo in this game. You can also buy healing items. Which means we're here to kill as many dinosaurs as we can. There's absolutely no reason not to. Because you get more points than the ammunition costs when you kill something. And if you manage to get the bonuses, you'll basically have uh, all the ammo you'll ever need. I guess I'm jumping at it. Uh, there's some spots where you can get ambushed like that. But it's usually if you run too close to the well, points where they jump at you. Otherwise, you'll have some time to react. Uh, dinosaurs can spawn any time the camera angle change. Ah, and I got hit, which means I won't get the bonus for this room. But it's not too bad. Uh, this might be tricky. No. Anytime you climb ladders or you jump down slopes and stuff like that, it'll be invincible as long as the animation is in place. But you can't cancel it, so if you encounter some enemy that winds up an attack or something, it might be a bit, a bit hard to avoid getting hit. But for the most part, you can use that to your advantage. And we'll be using it to deal with a certain type of. No, I got no ammo, but it's okay. Got a safe room coming up. 